welcome back to my channel. It's a very, very windy Tuesday afternoon. It's very blustery. I've had to shut all of the doors and windows in order to be able to film this video. Otherwise, I just feel like there'll be lots of banging and lots of whistling noises happening in my camera. So yes, I have had to shut all of the doors and windows just to film this video for you. It hasn't officially been announced yet on my Instagram page, but Ryan and I are heading off to Bordeaux in a few days time uh, for a little mini break uh, in the city and in the the region of wine. So we're going to have a, a lovely time, I hope, and we're just going for five days and then we're going to head for the other two days of the week to see a couple of our friends, uh, which I will tell you a little bit more about over on my Instagram page at some point soon. Um, I'm only packing for Bordeaux at the moment, I'm not packing for the extra two days, um, I will do that at some other point, either when we get back or just before we go, so I feel a little bit prepared. Um, but I'm ready to show you everything that I'm going to be taking with me. Now there are a few little bits I actually haven't got here, things like plasters and paracetamol and things like that that I just need to go out and buy before we go away, but the bulk of the things like clothes are all here now. Um, unlike other packing videos that I've done before, for things like Disney, I'm actually going to be showing you each individual piece of clothing. Um, usually I'll say, here are my shorts, and then put them in. But as I'm only going for a short amount of time, and I haven't got that many outfit changes, unlike Disney, um, I, I thought I'd actually show you the individual items I'm going to be taking. So um, let me show you my suitcase first, so that you know what it's going into. So this here is what it is going into. This bottom case here, the Mickey Mouse one, very sweet. It was a uh, Christmas present from Ryan and it was from Typo UK, for those of you that are interested. Uh, it's the perfect size for a cabin bag for uh, Ryanair, which is who we're flying with. And then this one here is actually a hand luggage bag, which is suitable for Ryanair too. So it's just a, a little kind of hold all, and it has a strap on the back that attaches it onto the handle of your suitcase so they can stay together at all times. That was from Amazon, and if I can find it again, I will link it in the description box down below for you all. Uh, but it is the the correct size for a Ryanair carry-on case, uh, which can go underneath the seat in front of you. So those are the only things I'm taking, because we don't have any hold luggage, just cabin luggage with us this trip. So my aim is to be able to fit everything that I can into the big Mickey case and then have all the other little bits like my book and headphones and stuff like that to be in the uh, the smaller polka dot mini case we'll call it. Um, so the Mickey case is full of all the clothes and the mini case is full of the travel essentials because that's the thing that's going to be underneath the seat in front of me. So on the plane if I need anything I can get it out of the mini case. Um, it just makes a little bit more sense that way. Um, the only biggest issue that I'm really having with f having hand luggage only is the liquids side of things. Because um, obviously you have to have liquids that are 100 millilitres or less, up to 1 litre I believe, so 10 of the 100 millilitres or less. Um, and that's the only thing that I'm really struggling with because I have just quite a few liquids, particularly when it comes to things like makeup and stuff like that. Uh, we're having to buy things like sun cream and shampoos and stuff like that over there, which is a bit annoying, but um, it's better than paying an extra forty pound or something for a for a case to go in the in the hold, which is a little bit unnecessary for a for a five day trip. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to show you the things I'm going to be taking with me. So here it all is. I've got no specific order that I would like to show you it all in. Uh, I'm just going to start and see where I go with it. So this here is my cardigans section. So this lacy one here is just a little cover up. Uh, it only is like a vest style, so it only covers my shoulders. Um, but it's good to pair with some cute little dresses that potentially I don't really like the straps of. Or if I feel like I just need that extra little bit of cover from the sun. This here is a caftan. Uh, it's from Ted Baker. Uh, this was from Primark, sorry. Uh, this is from Ted Baker. It was a present from Ryan at one point. Uh, and basically it just is used to cover up with swimming costumes. But actually I've used it before with small strappy tops as well. Um, it's just a nice cover from the sun or to put over your swimwear. And then this here is from New Look. It's just a peach cardigan, long sleeved. Very light uh, and very nice to use in the summer if it starts to get cool in the evening, which I suspect it probably will do in Bordeaux. Moving on here, these are Primark sandals. They're a little bit grubby. I think I'm going to give them a bit of a clean before I go to make them a bit more white again. Uh, but they are so comfortable. I was very worried about Primark sandals because I thought perhaps they wouldn't be very comfortable. 
um, but they're, they're very very comfortable you can get them in uh, brown and black as well I believe but I've got them in white and they're going to be going in the case because I'm going to be traveling in different shoes these are two dresses the one on the left is a um, a kind of tea style dress I suppose uh, which is very very beautiful and I recently got it from New Look at $25.99 and the one on the right is a bandeau dress, so it hasn't got any straps. It's from uh, Primark, and it was it's an old season, so it's not available now. But I do like to put it over the top of um, some sewing costumes sometimes, because it's a nice little cover-up. They are evening dresses. And then here, slightly creased, <laughs> but these are some floaty trousers. Again, they are from Primark. They are current season, so if you do want them, you can go and get them yourself. There's some floaty trousers with some buttons down at the front. And then here I've got some uh, shorts which are high-waisted. And these are also high-waisted. These stripy ones are from Primark. And these ones here are from New Look. But they are both old season. Going up here, this is my book that I am about to start reading. I've read the first two books in the series. This is book number three. But the tricky thing is that Ryan is also reading them at the same time, so I'm hoping that I can read it fast enough so that he gets to read this while also on holiday. I'll be taking a second book just in case I finish this one. Uh, but yes, I always like to have a book on holiday with me to keep me entertained. Here is a bunch of my toiletries. As I said before, it's not all of them, but I've got my Vaseline, I've got my deodorant, my eyelash curlers, concealer, um, eyebrows, my lavender spray, I absolutely love that, it's very uh, soothing if ever I find it hard to get off to sleep. I've got my Dose of Colours Truffle Matte Lipstick, a brush, uh, my Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced, which is my bronzer, um, my foundation, my eczema cream and some mascara. As I've said, not all of it, but it's at least some of the stuff I'll be taking. Over here are my two swimsuits. The one on the right is from F&F &F in Tesco, and I got it in the sale for £9, which is a bargain for how beautiful it is. You can see it's got the cute uh, knotted detail and also a little keyhole as well underneath the bust. And this one on the left, this one is from New Look. It was from last summer, and it's got the crisscross pattern at the front uh, and is a, a really pretty kind of lace. Uh, and it's got two panels at the side, which are sheer as well, so it's a little bit... Um, a little bit revealing but not as much as a bikini would be. Up here we've got my pyjamas, so the shorts are just uh, little shorts from Primark, they've got a little lace detail on them, and the top is my merch t-shirt from Bon Jovi from a few weeks ago. So I like to wear baggy tops in bed, so that's what that is. This is my little cap, as you can see it's got stitch on it. Uh, just in case I feel like my head is getting too hot from the sun, I will be able to put that on to protect it. This is all of my underwear and I've got some socks as well, some Pokemon socks and some Harry Potter socks, both from Primark. And this here, these are all of my t-shirts and tops. So this is a uh, linen sort of style top from Primark, which is very light and floaty. This is a Mickey Mouse t-shirt, uh, strappy top. This is, is a short sleeved top from New Look. And then these two are both from Primark, black and purple strappy tops. This Practically Perfect bag is all of my tech stuff, so that's all in there. It's stuff like my European adapter and my uh, phone charger, camera charger, spare batteries, memory cards, that sort of stuff. So the entire box might not be coming with me, it depends on if it fits, but if it doesn't fit then I'll be taking out the odd little bits that I need to take with me. This here is my travel outfit. So I have a jumper here. It's just a long sleeved, kind of baggy jumper. It's from Bar Harbour in Maine, which is where I went on holiday a few years back. Uh, and I figured if it gets cool in the evening and the rest of the trip, I can definitely use that to warm me up. I've got some socks and some underwear, and I have a, a nice kind of loose fitted top there, along with some new trainers from Primark from the, uh, the sporty section. They were £10. I'll also be wearing the jeans that I'm wearing now which are the mum jeans, these ones here, which are nice and comfortable. So that'll be my travel day outfit. So that's everything that I'll be taking with me. Now it's time to see if it fits in the suitcase. It should do, but let's give it a go. As you can see, I've got my Go Next packing cubes, so hopefully everything will stay nice and neat and won't be all screwed up when I get it out of the case in Bordeaux.
dresses that all of the clothes fit in one side. Fantastic! that I have a lot of space left. In the side that isn't my clothes, I've got enough room for some stuff. Uh, if I can try and fit a pillow in there, I might attempt it. If I can't, it's not a big deal um, because the pillows in the hotel look like they should be quite comfy. Um, I've still got my toiletries to go in, but that will go in the red mini bag over there. Um, and all that's got in at the moment is my tech stuff and a book. So that's got enough space to add some other things in as well. I'll add in my big neck pillow for the plane. Um, but apart from that, everything seems to be packed. I'm a bit surprised that I've got room. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited. I'm excited about the idea of going uh, to somewhere I haven't been before. It'll be weird going to France and not going to Disney. Um, but it will be a new experience. I'm going to let you all know now that I will be vlogging the trip because Ryan has said, yeah, absolutely, let's do it. Let's vlog the trip. Um, but I'm not going to be vlogging everything. Um, I'm, I'm going to be very conscious of the fact that I am on a trip that is not Disney, which is what this whole channel is about. Um, and I, I want to make the most of the trip with Ryan without worrying about doing everything to do with the channel and everything to do with vlogging so I want to enjoy my experience as well so it might be that I do one big vlog of the five day trip of, Bo of Bordeaux and just add all the bits together or perhaps I do part one part two I don't think I'll have enough content or enough interesting content to do day one day two day three day four day five um, I will do as much as I can or at the airport and stuff like that because everyone loves a good travel day but I can't guarantee the things that I will be doing or will not be doing so just thought I'd let you all know uh, do expect some Bordeaux vlogs but don't expect loads um, so so yeah I hope you're all excited to see what I get up to which is mostly going to consist of relaxing in the sun and drinking lots of wine but uh, I will definitely show you guys what we have planned and what we're going to get up to during our little city break to France. I hope you all enjoyed watching my packing video and I will see you next time for the next vlog. Bye!